you work here? Yeah. Um, could you help me like pick out an outfit? Pick out an outfit. Yeah, like just for fun. Just, like... uh, oh my. F These are expensive. <laughs> Whoa. Over the last year, I've been making a serious effort to step up my fashion game. I've been adding nicer quality pieces to my wardrobe and trying to dress cuter most days. But one thing I've been a little bit frustrated with is I find that I gravitate towards the same styles, colors, and basic items. I'm feeling a little bit bored with my style. So I decided today I'm gonna go to some of my favorite clothing stores and I'm gonna ask the employees to pick out outfits for me. First stop, we are headed to Urban Outfitters. Why? Because it's the closest. I've shopped at Urban Outfitters for years now. I really like it, but lately, I haven't really been going. Sometimes it can be hit or miss. Like, I see a lot of stuff I like. Other times, it's a bunch of stuff that is just not for me, sis. I don't know why I just said that. I, I shouldn't try and be trendy. I'm never saying that again, sorry. Yeah, but I don't know. Just sometimes it's just not my style at all. So today, hopefully, hopefully it's good. Hopefully they're nice. I feel like sometimes at Urban, they're a little bit stand offish so let's hope they're nice and uh yeah i'm excited to go shopping this is like the most fun video who's calling do you work here yeah um could you help me like pick out an outfit pick out an outfit yeah like just for fun just uh, like do you want something from sale or do you like full price full price is fine price. yeah just definitely go there. Okay. go ask the guy wearing the white beanie. okay we'll he's be, like totally he'll do something yeah okay okay, Eli. okay yeah, perfect okay him. Thing. He's going and picking me an outfit out right now. And yeah, I'm guessing he probably just like surveyed what I'm wearing and is gonna pick something based on that. Okay. Okay, cute. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. Okay, I'll try them on. These are my options. He gave me two options. And they're both definitely things like I never wear, so I'm excited to try it out. Here is outfit number one. I really like the shirt. I think the shirt's really cute. I'm not a big skirt person though. So I'm not like, I'm not real crazy about this one. Here we have it. This is definitely like what I would expect asking someone at Urban Outfitters to pick me out an outfit. I'm digging it though, you know? I actually, I think it's like cooler than I am, but I'm here for it, so. Okay, outfit one. All right, there you go. Thanks. I'm not really crazy about this outfit. This outfit is just not me at all. I think anyone that watches my videos would know that. If you saw me casually wearing this, you'd go, Monica, what are you wearing? And on one hand, that's kind of fun. It's fun expressing yourself in a new way. I feel like I'm playing a dress up right now as like a grunge, rocker, hipster kind of person. But on the other hand, actually wearing this out kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. I feel like an imposter. I'm not really representing my true self. I also am not a huge fan of people wearing band tees that don't actually listen to the band and I can't say that I listen to Nirvana that much. So I don't really like this outfit. Heading in for outfit number two. I knew I was in good hands asking an Aritzia employee to create my outfit, but my wallet, my wallet is not in good hands. Um, could you help me like pick out an outfit? Yeah, for like, sure. I really like your style. Oh, thank so. you. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Cool. cool. Okay. So at Aritzia, I gave the employee a bit of a challenge. I have these new shoes that I got that I'm really excited about. I think they're super cute, but honestly, I don't know entirely how to style them. I just ordered these shoes and I actually like, don't really know how I should style them. Yeah. So, Absolutely. Yeah, I'll grab like that. Stuff. Okay, yeah. perfect. So I asked her to come up with some looks that the shoes would look good with, and this is what I ended up with, and I'm so excited about it. Like, I really love this outfit that she picked. I was so impressed with the employee at Aritzia. She put in so much effort. Look, she picked me out three outfits. I was like, okay, dang. So for outfit number one, I actually already have this coat, but in a different color. It's like in a more light tan color. I wouldn't usually reach for this orange, but I love that she picked it for me because I really liked how it looked and it fit really, really nicely. So I really liked that outfit. Outfit number two was so cute too. I felt so comfortable in this sort of look, but the jacket was real leather and I just, I don't think I'm in a place in my life where I wanna have a real leather jacket. And lastly, I, oh my God, love this outfit so much. The jacket is what really won my heart on this day. This is the one I love, 
All right, that one hurt the wallet a little bit, but oh my God, she picked out the cutest outfits. She killed it. We'll start off with, oh my f These are expensive. Whoa. Ah, these liquid leggings were $138. I didn't really look at the prices, to be honest. And, oh my god, $58 for this? Whatever the employees pick, I'm gonna get it for the sake of the video, but damn. This is definitely something I wouldn't have bought on my own, but I do think it'll look really cute with this outfit that she picked. This garment is made with a stretchy, soft, vegan leather from one of Japan's most innovative mills. Well, I guess... I guess it's good quality. It is really soft and hey, vegan leather, that's good. Then it is paired with this sweater. The sweater's super cute. It's like a little bit of like kind of a long oversized sweater with, I believe this is called a cowl neck when you go like that with it. Lastly, paired with this amazing, this is called the super puff jacket. And it's like the full length one. I've never had like a huge, big full length coat like this, which is probably why I always hate winter because I'm too cold because I don't have a coat like this. I'm so excited about this though. I love the color. It's like this light brown topish color. It was $300 by the way, but I feel like you can justify spending more on a, a like a big old jacket. So can we just take a second for how amazing that snap was? So that is what Aritzia picked out for me. I seriously never even liked liquid leggings until she picked these out for me. There was a little bit of sticker shock on these. They were $128, but now I can see why. They are so soft and so comfortable and they wear really, really well. I love how they just add a little bit of sass to an outfit, a little bit of edge. I like these so much more than I thought. Overall, I love this outfit and it's something I never would have picked and having the employee pick it out for me was really awesome and it's something that I would maybe do again. The only downside to it was it was extremely expensive. <laughs> Just like anything, just like what you think would look cool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just, yeah. Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> I'll just wait here. From Clarence? From anywhere, anywhere is good. Yeah. Waiting for the guy to pick me out an outfit. I think him and his coworkers started laughing because it's a really weird thing of me to ask. <laughs> Time elapsed, probably about five or five, five minutes. What up? I God, picked some, it's for me. Yeah, I picked some simple stuff because I don't know if you see Okay, yeah. No, this is cool. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Of course. Okay, okay. Shoot, let's let's try it on. Thank you. Lastly, I went into Forever 21. Let's give this video a thumbs up for you know Forever 21 and their time of need and their bankruptcy and just RIP Forever 21. But you know. Probably not a bad thing because they're horrible for the environment. Let's be real, they're like one of the worst. Anyways, I went to Forever 21 and <laughs> asked an employee to pick something out for me. I did not give this guy any context as to I was filming a video. I was just like, can you pick me out an outfit? And he was like, what? I guess, okay, I guess. He was a really good sport though and he picked me out an outfit and I think he honestly put a pretty good effort into it. So this is what we got. This cute white shirt. So it's just this white ribbed long sleeve shirt. Really cute, really simple. It has just these little frilly details on the end. And then paired with these plaid black pants. I really like these two together. I think this is a really cute look. And I liked what he picked me out. Like I'm like, okay, right on, good job. And then he paired it with this big old purple fluffy sweater. Um, it's interesting. I immediately thought it was like a bathrobe, so this is a bathrobe. I will say like, thank you so much to him for being a good sport on this challenge. I, I, I love the outfit. It's so cute. I really appreciate 
that he picked it out for me. But what I think is so cool about this challenge is I now have a wardrobe of about nine different pieces that are things I genuinely can say after doing this, I wouldn't have chosen for myself. And yeah, I have these outfits the employees picked for me, but now I can mix and match them as well and style them how I want. I wanna give a shout out to any of the employees that were in this video. Shout out for being a good sport, okay? I think they all did a really good job and they all actually tried. So that's it for today's video. If you guys wanna watch more from me, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And now you can click anywhere to see other fashion videos that I've done. I did this one recently where I went shopping without checking the price. Price tags. It was kind of another challenge video. So definitely go check that out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.